Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to import uh, a fact table and a dimension table into your Power BI data and create a relationship between uh, two different tables, right? So let's get started. Uh, what I have here is a sample data set of, uh, of, a, of some sales from a superstore. Uh, so these are the orders that I have and then on the other tab I have the returns which have happened right now here if you see the first tab over here is my fact table when I say fact table this has details of every single transaction I have my order ID I have when it was ordered I have who has ordered and which country details and category product name my sales amount, what is the quantity they bought and what was the discount that was given and what was the profit, etc. Right now, so the same thing when I go to my returns table here, I only have order ID. Now, how do I populate the uh, sales amount or, or how do I know what quantity this particular order has been purchased? So let me take this for an example and coming here and search for this particular order ID. Right. So here. I need to know that you know the say the total sales value is 151 and then four uh, quantity were bought and this was the uh, total uh, so this was the profit amount right so here we don't have that so what I'm going to now do is I'm going to teach you how to import this into power bi and create a relationship between these two files right so let's get started so I'm here on Power BI right now and then I'm going to uh, bring in the data that we have which is over here and uh, just give me a moment and then we have the orders and then we have the returns right so let's take these two for now and uh, and let's get into transform data all right and uh, let's wait for this moment and uh, while this pops up so let's take a look at the data that we have so here there is a little issue over here because the first row has not been considered as the header instead we have something else so i'm going to quickly go and say use first row as header so that the headers change let me go to the orders tab orders tab looks fine and then i'm going to click on close and apply right so now i have my data set over here um let's get let the data get imported and uh, i have my data right i have my returns table and then i have my orders table now let me get the order id and bring in the sales amount against it right now this works because both the columns are in the same table the same thing if i have to bring in the order id and bring in the sales amount that is not going to work here right even though I have gotten the order IDs and the sales amount just like how I've done here, I don't have the right amount over here. That's because we haven't created a relationship between these two tables. To create a relationship, we need uh, a unique value uh, which is common in both the orders as well as the returns table over here. All right. Now, when I go over here into my data, into my returns table, I only have one column which is common between the returns table as well as the orders table. So I am going to go on this particular uh, icon over here, which says model. This is where the modeling happens, the data modeling, right? And uh, I'm going to go here, just expand this. And then I'm going to drag this order ID column and uh, merge it with the, or connect to the order ID column in the orders table. So when this happens, a dialog box appears over here. Uh, it is just telling us that, you know, there are multiple uh, uh, order ID or the order IDs are repeating in the uh, returns table. So that's fine. That's how we have the data right now. And then I'm going to click on OK. When I click on OK, this particular relationship is uh, a line is created, which is basically telling us that we have join the order id with the order id column over here okay now let's get back to the data right so the moment we get back to the data we see here that the amount values have changed right so as you can see here the values have been changed okay and um, so to check 
I mean, let's click on this it's 508.62 we've got the same amount here as well right now let us uh, also we can now bring in any of the details that you want from here into this particular table uh, into the returns table right so let's now bring in the um, let's say the quantity um, where is my quantity my quantity is here right so now I can say that this particular order ID uh, 11 quantities were returned and this is the value likewise I can also bring in my customer name so who was the customer who returned that particular uh, order and then I can also bring in my uh, subcategory what it is it that he returned right so you can create various charts uh, or, or create various uh, visuals to sort of analyze what is being returned why is it being returned why is this person returning right i've made a, a different complete video on how to build the uh, charts and visuals the bar charts and the line charts etc i will link the that video in this description of this video please do check it out if you need some help in creating these charts right so i hope this video has helped you and you've learned how to create relationship between multiple tables um, do consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials